What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the golden vendor and how I'd like to see some changes. Uh, first of all, most of you, if you go every Friday to the luxury vendor for furniture, the golden vendor for, you know, your gold jewelry, things like that. Uh, most of you have, have probably recognized over the years, the golden vendors are going to sell jewelry, a monster helm or monster shoulders. Now I think it's kind of goofy and kind of pointless now that the golden vendor sells monster shoulders, considering you can do your daily dungeons in your undaunted uh, and get all the keys you want. I mean, most of us have keys just stacked up now, and unless a set changes or we want to try something new, most of the shoulders in the game we already have. But in my opinion, it's kind of a waste that the Golden uh, offers shoulders uh, as well. I think the Golden probably should just offer the helm and you know your monster helms and your gold jewelry. What I would like to see added to it or uh, even have a separate golden vendor for would be weapons. I'm not sure how people would feel about this. I think some in the community might like it, some may not. But what I'm thinking about, of course, is things like uh, your burning spell weave staffs, your Medusa staffs, uh, any kind of you know overland uh, gear that you can get or dungeon gear that you can get that's kind of the same concept as the jewelry. Uh, you could have the gold weapons from either Mother or Sorrow staffs. Uh, it would be really nice to see these drop in certain you know, uh, traits, maybe like something you use for PVP, something you use for PVE. You could do a little bit of everything. You could throw some PVP weapons in there some weeks, some PVE weapons in there some weeks, and they would already be golded out. And I think a lot of players would really like that. One reason being the RNG for a lot of stuff is, is bad, as you guys know. I have the Burning Spell Weave Staff or the Inferno Burning Spell Weave Staff, which I know a lot of people call it the Unicorn. They can't get it. It took me years, honestly, to get that. I'm talking three or four years before it ever dropped. Uh, I know some people have it, have got it several times, kind of like the Medusa staff. Some people get it, have got it several times. I've still have never got the Medusa Inferno staff or the Medusa Lightning staff for that matter. Uh, my sticker book is full. Uh, I don't even remember in the past getting it. If I did, it's so long ago that I broke it down, you know, when it was absolutely trash and it was no good, but it has been that long. Uh, since, you know, Medusa has been considered one of the better uh, sets in game. I have probably ran arcs. I don't even want to count how many times now and still no luck. But I, I feel like a golden vendor would be good, not just beneficial for you know someone like me that grinds and plays all the time because I can still just grind out things and it'll eventually drop and that's no big deal. But I know a lot of people don't have time to just grind gear and grind dungeons and try to get some of these items to drop all the time, especially if you have a lot of characters. If you have a lot of tank characters uh, and you're trying to find a bunch of different sets, it would be nice to have the option to maybe go in there uh, to a golden one week and find you know your, your one hand and sword options. Or if you're a DPS and you only get to play maybe it's just on the weekends. It would be nice to go in there and either find you, you know, uh, daggers or your, your staffs or whatever the case may be. So I think the addition of either adding these golden weapons into the golden every week and taking out the shoulders would be nice. That way you could have monster helm, jewelry, and weapons and kind of get your choice between the helm, jewelry, and weapons one week. Or just having a brand new golden vendor in general that sells just weapons. Now it could cost more AP. However they wanted to handle it, I, I wouldn't really have a problem with it. Uh, it could be just for gold, whatever the case is. I think it's something that I think the community overall would like to see. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Would you like to see a golden vendor that offers golden weapons from Overland and Dungeon content? Uh, leave me your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.